Now in goes Luke's choice. The red light appearing. The field loaded away and they're set. Should catch them any tick of the clock. Away now, they're racing. Chenery Red is the first of them into stride. Adrian McPhee jump well. They're going to head La Beyonder. Also up there early on is Miracle Man. Luke's Choice is coming over. And boys get around him is out there deeper. And likewise, Jazz Para also Watch Me Nano, who's planted four and five deep getting into stride. A length and a half away on the inside, Universal May, who'd settled back in the field with Star of Bonnie Rose. They're being followed by Law Major, Disco Villain. And last of all is Duck Feet as Chenery Red holds Holds the lead at the 1,000. To the riverside of the course, Chenery Red on top in control. Luke's Choice strode up running second. Three quarters of a length away, Jazz Para. La Beyonder enjoying a perfect run down on the inside next. A length away behind them came Adrian McPhee at the 800 after one boys get around him. Universal Maze down on the inside. Miracle Man three deep. Watch me, Nene sitting out there very wide on the course. Has to go back. On the inside, star of Bonnie Rose and the last trio. They included Duck Feet, Disco and dropping out last is Law Major. By the 500, Chenery Red will guide them for home over Luke's choice. La Beyonder is being stoked up on the inside ahead of Jazz Para. Further back, boys get around him. Adrian McPhee, Universal May, and back behind them came at the head of the other star of Bonnie Rose. Don't like Watch Me, Nay Nay. Luke's choice reaches the lead on the outside. Chenery Red tries to stick La Beyonder to the middle of the course and is starting to power home. La Beyonder comes at Luke's choice. Grabs the lead and La Beyonder's going to be too strong. La Beyonder beat Luke's choice. Adrian McPhee third home from Duck Feet running on from the back. Universal May, Chenery Red were next in from Star of Bonnie Rose. Boys get around him, Miracle Man. Discoville finished home next of all. Watch me, nay, nay. Never on the track at any point in the race. Jazz Parra's well back and tailed off. A long last is Law Major. Law, the winner is La Beyonder. Lovely run all the way. And uh, certainly got to the right part of the track, Jerry, there once she was able to extricate and get around them. And out there, three, four, five horses away from that inside section is definitely the preferable place to be. And La Beyonda, who appreciated that bit of rain that fell between races as well, a real wet tracker. And uh, she was able to overhaul Luke's choice and uh, finished on the better there with Adrian McPhee at. Uh, Pretty good odds running on into the minor placing. 13, 7 and 10 as we stand by. No luck for Watch Me Nene who got caught very, very wide on the course and really struggled dropping out in the run home. La Beyonder's last couple of runs have been terrific without much luck. Today getting the rub of the green for Colin Webster, a discoursey mare from La Foyle for Colin. Also Ronnie Sayers, Paz Princey, A Torrey, D Sanzoni, G Radici and E.C. Scalach and has won by one and a quarter lengths, three quarters, second and third. The time won 38.09, 36.35 the split. 13, 7, 10 and 5. 13, 7, 10, 5. Duck feet runs on, grabbing fourth. Universal May, fifth home. That brings us to race seven, the Byron Bay Premium Lager Handicap at 10 after four with one Kelly secret, the scratching. And it will play with the point taken here. Uh, hasn't been a great day for Chloe so far. Let's hope she can spin things around a bit here with point taken. Maybe over next stop, the moon. who will love uh, the bit of given the ground that is now uh, occurring here after that uh, bit of rainfall. And uh, Karanis uh, might not appreciate these conditions, but likely to go better as well. Second up for Uni Bro. It makes the top four uh, of our selections here in uh, the exotics. And uh, I guess Nawi is another two that might be given some consideration, but uh, starting to get a little tricky there. Punters on the money though, with La Beyonder eight fifty into five fifty on the SP there. Luke's choice seven fifty and eighteen dollars. About Adrian McPhee as Jerry Noski makes her way back aboard the Colin Webster trained mare La Beyonder after scoring in race number six.
performance there by La Bionda and uh, well she didn't have the sense of timing because last start it was uh, the race named in honour of Colin Webster's 80th birthday but she's waited uh, for Graham Webster's birthday celebrating a birthday today and La Bionda has been able to salute we you could see the market beforehand they were taking a liking to her Scott and uh, we knew that the weather was always going to be in her favour when we started to see that rainfall. Yes absolutely as soon as it did Britt seven starts on a soft track for three wins and uh, two other miners will obviously go down as a win on a good four today but a little bit of cut out of the track definitely in her favour two starts ago she was given a gun ride by Jerry Noski from gate number 12 of 15 and then last start through no fault of her own she was held up the entire length of the home straight until it was too late for her so it's a really good reward for Jerry Noski who's riding this mare particularly well very much so 13 7 10 and 5 your numbers out of the six the Paul Harvey 50th birthday handicap it's a happy birthday to the pontiff we'll be back with more soon two races to come from Ascot